Greetings and welcome to another quick video here for the month of November where we go over the things that are coming out and what content we could possibly make out of it and also what's going on. So firstly, I'd like to thank all 170 plus of our subscribers. That is three times what we had at the beginning of October. It's actually pretty amazing we got this far and hopefully it won't stop and hopefully you, we get, keep getting more subscribers and we keep getting bigger so we can do bigger stuff. So anyway, up to the stuff that is coming out. So I think yesterday or today or this last week, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 just came out. I haven't played a single Call of Duty ever that I can remember. I think the last one I played was Modern Warfare 2 and I did the story mode or 3 and it was interesting enough. I, and uh, actually I lied. The last one I played was Tom Classy's uh, uh, Advanced War, Warfighter or something like that. That was very interesting in the campaign. But anyway, so that's coming out. At, and it is a bit on the expensive side, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to get your opinion on that one. Then we also have a Fallout 4 coming out later this next week, or this week, or whenever it is. And if I'm going to... It is a very huge game, more than likely, although I'm very tentative about it, because if it's like Skyrim at the very beginning, where it was like, yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff to do, but none of it affects anything in the story, and... Yeah, you become the Archmage, but everybody keeps telling you that there might be a magic school, and it's like... <sighs> yeah, so that's the problem with that. And then later this week, I think in 10 days, Star Wars Battlefront also comes out. So that can also be something, although every, every single one of these games is triple A, so that means it's pretty expensive. So what I need from you guys is to tell me what content you want to see and out of what games. Now, we're not limited to just these three games, I mean. You, you, we can also do stuff from smaller titles or free-to-play games like, I don't know, League of Legends or Dota. I play both of those games, although I play League of Legends more, but whatever. Then there's also Vermintide that looks very interesting. Yeah, War, Warhammer 40k Vermintide. That looks very fun as well. And what else? I can't really think of anything else that I've seen that really piques my interest lately. But anyway, so what I want you guys to tell me is exactly what kind of content you want to see down below in the comments. Do you want to see Let's Plays? And if so, of what games would you be interested? Would you want to see a Fallout 4 Let's Play where I focus specific... Where instead of showing you all the downtime where it's running between this and that, I focus on this. I just got... We're getting this mission and we're going to go do it. Will that be something you guys want to see? Also, would you guys like some kind of, if you want help with a certain game, I don't know, maybe Call of Duty has some maps you're having problems with on, or something, I'm not really sure. Would you guys want more guides like I did for Metal Gear Solid 5? Would that be something you guys are interested in? I could definitely do more of those. And if there's some other games you guys would like me to take a look at for le for what other people, other people call for 20s or Quick Plays or whatever, we can also do that. And if so, what kind of games would you like me to take a look at? If they're not very expensive, I can definitely put in a little bit of my money because if I have fun, money really isn't an option for... No, money isn't an object for me if I have fun, so yeah. Anyway, so in the background you're seeing a couple of my playthroughs, or my matches in Splatoon. I finally got around to playing it and I'm definitely enjoying it. The fact that your KDA matters very little, if at all, in that game, and your level as well doesn't influence how good you are, really makes that game very fun for me. I also had quite a bit of fun going through the single player that I went and bought the Amiibo 3 pack for it and I'm definitely having fun going through those challenges. So anyway, yeah, there's that. And uh, the last thing I did recently is I downloaded the demo for RPG Maker MV and I'm having a little go at it. It's really interesting, although the hardest part I'm having with it so far is creating the maps themselves, not because I don't know how to do it, but because I have no idea what kind of maps I want or how the the layout would be. But yeah, though that's what's going on this month. And yet, yeah, oh, and the close, the second beta for Blade and Soul is happening in next week. So on the 13th, I believe. Let me check my calendar. Yep, on the 13th, it is opening up again. So next weekend, we will definitely be having, or this weekend, or whenever you're watching this video, we're gonna have more content from that. Also, if you guys are also in the closed beta for Blade and Soul, don't fe be afraid to contact me. Once the op the beta is out, I will make a short video telling you on what server I am, what faction I am, and the name of my character, so you can contact me. I did make a small guild, so if you want to go around in the beta, go into dungeons with people that you can actually communicate with and everything, there that will happen then. And you can also do that, like create a small group of people that actually can communicate for any of these multiplayer games that work a lot better for communication. Oh, and I almost forgot, I'm still waiting on my Overwatch beta. I haven't gotten a key yet, but I did, when Heroes of the Storm was in beta, I got it about halfway through it, 
So I still have my hopes of getting that. So yeah, that is about it. And really, just, rem just remember to leave a comment in below of what kind of content you want to see, of what game, and yeah, that's really it. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time for whatever it is we end up making. So later.